One of the biggest killers of athletic ambition in jiu-jitsu, but also in anything else, is complacency. Getting complacent with what you've achieved so far in whatever area you're trying to compete in or excel at, and then saying, you know what, I've done enough, this is great, I'm just gonna maintain where I am and I'm satisfied with that. Sometimes that's okay, right? If you're mainly a hobbyist and you've only competed before just out of a sense of wanting to do it and you know experience something and challenge yourself, that's totally fine. But if you want to continue to progress in competition in any area, then you cannot become complacent with yesterday's results. You can take one day, maybe a couple days to celebrate your victory and have that mental euphoria, but then you've got to move on and you've got to grind again to get to the next thing. Maybe your goal is to win an intermediate division. Then your next goal should be to win an advanced division after you've done that. Then after you've won an advanced division, Maybe you should enter into an invitational and try to place top three in the invitational. Then after you do that, you try to win the invitational, right? And maybe get some cash prizes. At the very least, if you're competing in Nogi, you know, I think in Gi, they're a little bit more rare, but in Nogi, you can definitely win some cash prizes if you get to that level. So there's always another step. And guess what? In trying to achieve the next goal, the next thing, you're constantly improving your skill set, and not just for jiu-jitsu, but in anything else that you try to do. The more you try to accomplish, the more tasks you put forward in front of yourself, the more you're going to have to learn and innovate in order to achieve the next thing. So you want to make sure that you continue to try to work on and excel in whatever area that you're working on, be it jiu-jitsu, be it any other athletic endeavor. And, you know, don't get complacent because as soon as you do, as soon as you start getting complacent, then you'll stop succeeding. You'll stop getting to that next thing. And maybe you are trying to get to that next thing and your complacency is more so in the sense of you don't shift your training strategies. You stop watching film on your opponents. You stop keeping up with the meta of what's happening in jiu-jitsu because it's constantly evolving. And so you get left behind. Everybody now is good. Everybody knows everything. You can't just be a leg lock specialist and win trials anymore like you could eight years ago. You can't just be a D1 wrestler and win trials like you could eight years ago. You need a wide variety of skills and the ability to funnel people into your strengths and away from your weaknesses. That's what it takes to win. And as people get better and increase their skills, it's going to take more. So you have to constantly continue to improve and not be complacent. And you know what? This is mainly for the guys that are just looking to be serious competitors. If you're just a hobbyist and you want to compete every once in a while, that's fine too. But Set a goal for yourself every once in a while. It'll improve your jujitsu and it'll give you something to strive for. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. And we'll see you next time.